Tekken 7 director and producer Tsuhiro Harada has always been very, very vocal when it comes to gaming culture, the trends that rise and fall, and recently he was responding to a Twitter user and he said that he's tired of the SJW types of people getting offended about cultural stereotypes referring to gaming, of course. Now, I do want to say most people refer to these types of people as SJWs or social justice warriors, but I almost never use that term, and that's because I personally feel like as though when you give someone a title or a label, titles give people a sense of power, and when you call them by said title, they mock you and respond with, well, I'm an SJW like you said, so obviously this is how I would act. And I really don't want to give any of those types of people credit, which is why I almost never use the term. So I just wanted to throw that out there really quickly as to why I don't use the term usually. I've been asked a ton why I don't and why I kind of avoid it. I just don't prefer to use that term because titles give people a sense of empowerment. Anyway, besides that, he was responding to a person on Twitter that happened to be asking if one of the next characters might be a traditional Nordic warrior, and he responded with, I'd like to challenge such a theme design. However, the time has come when the challenge is very difficult, because there are people who complain about characteristic design as this is a stereotype. Perhaps everyone around the world should just wear t-shirts and jeans. The shirts should be plain with nothing on it. If there is a design, it could offend someone somewhere, right? I've become quite tired of trying to avoid causing potential offensive issues. Now, Tekken 7 is a game that's always received heat for the content and the characters in the game, but he's never, ever backed down or tried to appeal to a specific type of audience, unlike some of his direct competitors, we all know who I'm talking about, and he's proven this time and time again. Even at the end of his statements, you know, in his back and forth with the Twitter user, he did even say that he will continue to choose to do what he wants and will continue to give the real consumers of his game what they want, and I... I give him such huge props for saying things like this because a lot of us that play these types of games and see issues like this happening, you know, in new releases and even older releases, um, you know, we really think these type of things and it's great to finally see someone like a director and a producer of such an important game actually come out and agree with us. A lot of um, individuals in, indus in the industry, you know, do really agree with us, but they don't say it because they're afraid that it will affect their game sales directly um, in the way that Yohai Shinbori did. You know, he kept back and forthing because his real audience was upset, but the audience he was trying to cater to, um, you know, didn't like the direction of his game, and he was trying to have that middle ground, but you truly can't have that middle ground. You have to stick with what you believe, and that is why I am really standing with Katsuhiro here. But I think that he is 100% correct. Even though I've said before in some cases, you know, just make the content that you want, he's not wrong in the sense that it's difficult, you know, because there are always people who complain and people who are upset and people, uh, you know, that say there's some form of stereotyping. But the problem that I see here is that everything has some form of stereotyping. It's how you make different characters, how you step out of your creative comfort zone, different designs. Everything is based off of something, and usually when it comes to something like Tekken, with the vast array of different character designs, and they're not all from one specific you know, city or place or culture, there will be some form of stereotyping in new character designs. You know, there's when you're basing something off of something, it has to come from somewhere. Sorry, just had to say that. You know what I'm saying? You, you're picking up what I'm putting down. He even says that perhaps everyone around the world should just wear t-shirts and jeans. T-shirts should be plain with nothing on it. If there is a design, it could offend someone somewhere, right? Please, please make a character with a core values t-shirt. Please do it. You are our only hope, Katsuhiro. Please. In all seriousness though, jokes aside, he's even said that he's become quite tired of trying to avoid causing potential offense issues. And as someone who is creating designs for anything new, anything that's trying to be innovative, this must be really difficult since with social media being a huge part of development, hearing people's feedback and initial reactions, uh, you know, there are people that enjoy, you know, the game and the new ideas, but there's always people that don't. And I'm sure that that takes a huge toll on the direction of your game or your game design or your design in general. 
and it really must take a toll on you personally as the designer having to second guess your creations and your ideas and that's a shame i do what you want and don't back down from your original ideas because as soon as you start fading away from your original ideas the less of you that is in your creations and that is what makes artists different is the difference in creative ideas and designs look at something like video games there are so many vast genres of games and so many vast differences in art designs if everyone was trying to appeal to the same specific type of consumer just a a, a general boring bland consumer all of the games would look the same there would not be innovation in games look hearing someone stand so firmly with his beliefs and that is what we need more of in the gaming industry now when you know things like the social justice warriors become more and more opinionated and they become and they voice their opinions more and i definitely 100 percent love that he just came forward and said his mind and i 100 percent support him i mean i always have i've always really liked him you guys will have to let me know all of your thoughts in the comments down below on this whole situation on him saying straight up that he is sick of the offense culture and everyone getting offended by everything but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and of course if you didn't make sure to give it a dislike i appreciate your support either which way i will have a link down below in the description of one angry gamers article on this um it's a very well written article you all know one angry gamer writes very well articles but i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i will talk to you guys again really soon